Welcome back everyone and if this is your first time here you're gonna find a lot of videos about home repair, home DIY projects, all kinds of things that the average homeowner will likely have to do and can do. These are not difficult things, at least most of them anyway. So if any of that interests you and you're a homeowner you might want to hit that subscribe button and check out what I've got for you. So this particular video is about smart switches. I just did another video about uh, smart plugs, which you, which I loved, by the way. And now I've got eight of them all over the place. You might want to see that. And I wanted to dive into smart switches. I'm going to be doing light bulbs and you know a whole series of smart things for uh, for the future. Anyway, um, so smart switches. I'm going to talk to you about um, the differences between a couple of them that are out there, how to install them features and benefits, and also um, at the end what my final take is on, on these things. Okay, so first of all, uh, you've got a lot of different ways to connect to them, you know, through Alexa, through your Google, uh, through Google, through um, uh, sm your smartphone, through various apps, and also uh, through hubs. Now, I personally don't like using hubs. I want to just use my phone. And, and that way the rest of the family can use the phone. I don't want to have this other thing, this other device, especially if you end up with um, a lot of different smart devices and they might need their own hub. We don't need all that nonsense. So I want to be able to use just one app and control everything. So I, perf I, I actually don't like hubs. So these two switches don't require a hub. Um, the other thing is, is we're going to talk about the difference between uh, wiring uh, or switches that require a neutral wire and ones that don't. So I'm going to get into that in a little bit too. These do require a neutral neutral wire. So uh, I'll be talking about the differences between those and the, the wiring differences as well. If you have an older home, you might need uh, the ones that do not require a neutral wire. Okay, uh, so let's just get to the bench here and I'll show you what I've got and then we'll, we'll show you what it looks like installed and then we'll move on from there. So we're here at the workbench and I've got uh, two switches here that after doing a lot of research I narrowed it down to these two um, based on functionality, price, etc. what I thought would make the most sense for most homeowners. Again these do not require a hub and um, this one is from a company called Gosund All right, and uh, this comes in a one pack and this one is a company called Treat Life. Let's see if I can lift this up so you can see it here. This came in a four pack. You can buy them in any uh, uh, configuration you want if you don't want four. But um, the pricing on these are fairly, fairly similar. The other thing you'll notice is they're wired exactly the same way. Uh, in fact, even this safety sticker was the same on this one as it was on this one. I, I was getting the feeling like they were even made in the same factory, which is entirely possible. So, wiring. Um, the first thing is, is that uh, these require a neutral wire. Uh, neutral, white. Uh, it requires for you to have a line coming in for, with a neutral wire. So here, here's, the, here's what I mean. So in a typical modern home, you're going to have to your switch, uh, your switch box, you'll have two, two lines. One coming in is the power source and the other one's going out to the light. Okay, And that is exactly what's required for, for this type of, uh, of uh, smart switch. Okay, However, some older homes have a situation where you have just... Uh, just one line coming in so what's happening is up at the uh, in the ceiling by the light you'll have uh, two wires co essentially connected except for the the hot the black ones which then will come down to your switch right and it'll look like just one line coming in if you have just one line coming into your into your uh, switch box these will not work you need Two, you need to have that neutral wire because what this is is essentially is when you have just one line you have you have a hot coming in to your switch 
and then the hot using the white wire hot going back out which will attach to a black wire on the, up in the ceiling going to your light and if you were to get a switch that didn't require a neutral wire this white let me tape it down so you don't see it this white would be missing okay and then you just have your ground and your 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 hot coming in and your load going out that's how it would work the problem is is those those smart switches require a hub everything i'm doing in my house is just no hub required using your smartphone and one app so that's what that's what i prefer but like i said if you don't have the neutral wire in your house because it's an older house you can't use these switches now moving on let's gonna let's wire this, one of these up so you, i'll show you here and then um i'll then i'll then show you uh live what it looks like after it's wired in the switch box let's take this one here because they're basically the same and on here too it'll show you let me uh pull the sticker off again to make it really simple besides the written instructions it's going to show you here you'll see it says line load neutral and ground hopefully you can see that all right so basically you're going to be taking this if this is the power line coming in this is the power line coming in you're going to attach the black wire to the black wire there you go and then you're going to have um, the, the power going out to the light switch, red to the black. So the red is going up to the, uh, excuse me, the red is going up to the, uh, uh, the light itself. We're at the light switch. Okay. And then you're going to attach the, th the three neutral wires, the whites, all three to each other. Okay. And then your grounds, and you're gonna, sh you should have a ground also uh, coming off of your 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 switch box too, onto this. But we don't have a switch box, okay? Got it. So we've got the 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 power coming in attaches to the black, the power going up to the light, red going to the the black that goes up to the light, all three of the whites together and the grounds together. That's basically how you wire this type of a switch. Now let's go down to where I have it installed and you can see it uh, on the wall. So here we are at the switch and uh, I attached these to the uh, basement lights because this is uh, these lights are newer and I've got the neutral wire coming in. So um, I've already uh, synced this with the app so you don't have to watch me do that. That's pretty boring. You can see that anywhere and I have the uh, the neutral wire tied off to the uh, excuse me the uh, ground wire tied off to the ground wires coming in I have the uh, the white neutral capped off with the two neutral wires uh, coming into the the outlet box and the black wire is attached to the incoming power from the panel and the red wire is the load going back to the black wire that goes up to the lights okay now you can see that you can um, operate it manually just by hitting the button here and of course using the smart life app on the phone I, I put the switch in here called it basement lights okay you can open that up you can either turn it on directly here or open it up and hit the button here to turn the lights on And just like everything else, you can uh, you can schedule it. Okay, so you can schedule timers. You can add add a certain days uh, days of the week you want it to come on. Uh, you can add the, to repeat it. Let's say you know six six fifty three p.m. Repeat how many days of the week? Boom, 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 like that. And then you can select uh, this. It says switch on. You can change it to switch off. Okay, you can add another timer on here to turn them off, whatever you'd like. 
So again, it's just uh, just like uh, anything else. And now you can also essentially, you know, dim this stuff here too. So you can dim it from here. And it doesn't let you dim it down to like zero. Let's look at what, see what it looks like on the uh, up on the uh, ceiling. That's as dim as it gets, and that's as bright as it gets. Okay, so that's basically uh, how they'll all work with an app. Pretty simple. Okay, so let's recap, and I'm going to share with you what uh, what my thoughts are after having the switches in the house for a couple of weeks, and what I think about smart switches in general. Okay, so first. Um, I think if I had to lean one towards the other, I'll choose the uh, GoSund one. I just kind of like the display and the lights, I guess. It's kind of neat, the visual, but otherwise they, they're extremely similar and they, they can sync with the same Smart Life app, which I'm a fan of. I've mentioned that before. Um, now, the thing is, is that they don't do a great job of dimming, right? So if you're used to the, st the, the old traditional dimmer um, that you had in the house when you were growing up, you might especially the one with the dial, right? You could dim it down almost to nothing and then all the way bright again. The dim range is not as broad on these things. So that's the, that's the first thing. So if you care about that, you might not want one of these, uh, one of these anyway, one of these two smart dimmers. I've been reading up on them and I don't know of too many that, that do a great job at, at the dimming part. Yes, you can dim it from your phone if you can't get up off the couch. But me, I personally kind of usually have it dimmed to a certain uh, degree and that's where it's always at that's the way I do it but everyone's different so the next thing is is that you know I was thinking to myself do I really do I really need this thing and um, now y you you may or may not want a smart switch you might want to go crazy and put them all, all over your house uh, if you're if you're just trying to use it as a uh, as a way to turn lights on and off to, to give the appearance that someone's home while you're not home, well, you can always use a smart plug and plug a lamp into that and do, that, do it that way. Um, you can also, instead of buying a smart switch, if the smart switch is just controlling one light instead of a whole group of recess lights, you can get just a smart bulb, which will cost you less than the switch, and then that bulb can be moved from place to place around the house. It doesn't always have to be you know, hardwired in, and then it doesn't matter what wiring you have in the house, you could always use that smart bulb regardless. So that's another option instead of getting a smart switch. So I think I'm going to leave uh, the switch that you saw uh, installed before in that spot. I'm just going to keep it there. It's in the in the basement. You know, it's a it's an area where we have a, a big big screen TV and we watch movies sometimes. So maybe you can dim the lights down. So maybe that's a good thing to have there. I have a dimmer in the family room in another spot that I don't really want to hit hit the uh, hit that with a smart switch or a smart dimmer, um, but I don't think I'll be buying any more smart switches. At least not in the short term. Maybe later. Maybe another house. Maybe when technology changes a little bit. I like the plugs. I'm gonna make my decision on the on the bulbs when I do that video coming up. But I think uh, for me. Um, I'm just not a huge fan yet of the switches. I'll probably change my mind on that at some point because everything changes. But I will say though that if you were to uh, to go and get yourself a smart switch, which which is uh, which is great, uh, I think these two are 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 decent for the price. There are plenty out there. You can spend sixty dollars, a hundred dollars, you know, crazy money. There there are other ones where. They do some amazing, there's some amazing things that some of these can do. They're, they're networks. You might have to run a network wire. Um, you could tie in your whole house. It's kind of neat, futuristic. We're already in the future. But I guess that's probably something you'd want to think about if you were bu building a brand new house and not trying to configure all of that in an existing house and snaking all, all kinds of new wires and whatnot. So um, that's just my thought on that. If you have a, a smart switch at home, or you've watched the video and then went and bought one and then tried it, I'd like to know your thoughts on it, um, and uh, let me know your feedback and what you think, and whether you have any other smart devices, or if you want me to do some other types of smart um, 
uh, smart videos. I'm doing one uh, for gar the garage door openers. That video will likely be released within the next week. And um, like I said, I'll be doing smart bulbs and anything else that I can find. So, because I think it, the, the technology is really neat. I want to try it out. So anyhow, thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. If you liked the video, uh, hit that like button. That's the way to save it for later too if you want to refer back. And subscribe if you enjoyed any of my videos too. Thanks again for watching.